episode 13, Emily on Ice. One winter's evening, Emily had just finished her jobs for the day. When she rolled into her shed, the fat controller was waiting for her. Tomorrow's the big ice skating competition. Emily, I would like you to collect the contestants from Aaron Station. Be there bright and early and on time. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I will let you down. That's a good engine. Now you get some sleep as you'll have another busy day tomorrow. Emily was looking forward for tomorrow. She shut her eyes and went to sleep. The next morning, Emily arrived at the big station to collect her coaches. Stafford was busy shunting them into place. Thank you, Stafford. You're welcome, Emily. So you're taking the ice skating competition special? I've heard people from the mainland are taking part. Yes, I am. I feel really proud to do this. It must be great to do some ice skating. I wish I could take part in it. Engines going ice skating? That must be the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. No, it's not. I'll prove it. Bah! Good luck with that. Emily's coaches were coupled up to her, and she steamed slowly out of the station. I swear that engine has been hanging out with a tank engine for too long. Engines wishing to go ice skating. You don't see me wishing for silly things. I wouldn't be too sure, Gordon. I remember hearing a story about you wishing to have a panoramic view. <laughs> Emily soon arrived at Marin to pick up the ice skaters. They were all wearing their warm winter clothes and carrying bags with their skating shoes and other necessities. Once they were on board, the guard blew his whistle, waved his flag and got into the brake coach. With a toot of her whistle, Emily pushed off into the frozen lake where the contest was being held. I don't care what Gordon thinks, I can go ice skating easily. <laughs> it's a lot harder than you think. I can't do ice skating to save a life. But Gordon is right, Barry. Engines can't ice skate. Emily arrived at the station near the frozen lake. She watched as the passengers got off the train and made their way to the lake. There were so many people skating around on the frozen lake as far as Emily's eyes could see. She wished she could join in the fun. That afternoon the judges gave the winner a gold cup and the prize money, and it was time to go home. Emily unfortunately couldn't watch the final. She was busy with other jobs. She was sad by the time she arrived to pick up the contestants. I'm sorry we couldn't watch the finals, old girl. But never mind, there's always next year, eh? I guess. Emily arrived back to Knapford Station, but she still felt sad. Cheer up, Emily. I'm sure another busy day will take your mind off ice skating. The next morning, Emily had to take some trucks to Vickerstown, but she was still unhappy. Go on, Emily. Try and put a smile on your face. <sighs> Emily then had to stop at a signal. The trucks had an idea. Hey, Emily. What's the matter? Come on, you can tell us. It's none of your business. I think it has something to do with those kids ice skating. To tell you the truth, it is. I'd really love to try some ice skating. An engine? Ice skating? <laughs> Emily felt very oh. embarrassed. 
The signal changed to green, and she puffed up. The trucks, however, started to tease Emily about her wish. Emily's wish is stupid. Emily's wish is stupid. Stop that. Emily steamed past Molly, who was taking on water. Be careful, Emily. The tracks are very icy on Gordon's Hill. Don't worry about me, Molly. I'll be fine. If you say so. Emily charged her way up Gordon's Hill, but she needed to slow down to pin down brakes. Easy, Emily. We need to slow down. Get moving! Get moving! Get moving! Get moving. Get moving. Get moving. Get moving. What? No! Stop! On! 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 Help! Emily's driver slammed on the brakes, but it was no use on the icy rails. Her wheels kept slipping. Looks like we're making your wish come true, Emily! Not like this! Emily could see a huge frozen lake and some rotten buffers in a nearby siding. She tried to stop, but her wheels couldn't grip. Come on! Stop! Stop! But it was too late. Emily smashed into the buffers and found her wheels on the frozen lake. Where is my firebox? At least the ice can hold my weight. Or not. We'll have to get help. Please don't leave. We have to, Emily, otherwise we'll be done for! It was difficult for Emily's crew to phone for help because they had to make their way to the signal box from the frozen lake. They kept on slipping and sliding all over the place. But they made it to the signal box. The signalman was having a hot drink when they came knocking on his door. Ah, oh, hello you two. What's up? Emily's stuck on the frozen lake. We need to phone for a crane. Ah, oh, I thought I saw her rushing by. I thought she was late or something. You know what those trucks are like, eh? Right, I'll go ring up for help. Meanwhile, Emily was very worried. She knew that no matter how thick the ice is, it won't be able to hold her for long. I hope help comes soon. Hang in there, Emily. Help is on its way. Soon, Belle and Harvey arrived. Belle brought work and Harvey came to pull Emily out. Good grief! Are you okay, Emily? I will be once I get back on the rails. Don't worry. We'll get you out of there. Belle pulled the trucks out of the way while James was called to take them to Vickers Town. Then, Harvey got into place while the workman got to work preparing Emily for her rescue. Don't worry Emily, we'll get you out in no time. Ah, oh, make it quick! The workman uncoupled Emily's tender and Harvey started to pull the tender to safety. Now we only had Emily to put back onto the rails. I just hope the ice holds until Emily's back on the rails. Oh no! Hurry! I'm on it! Harvey was hooked up to Emily and he started pulling very carefully and slowly. Okay, easy does it. Oh no! Hurry Harvey! I can't pull you in too quickly, something might snap! back onto the rails, just in time. Oh, that was close. Well done, Harvey. Well done. Yes, indeed. Thanks a lot, Harvey. And you too, Belle. Any time, Emily. Although, I'm just worried what the fat controller will say. He'll be cross with me for not delivering the trucks. Don't worry, Emily, I'm not cross with you. Sir? When did you get here? I've been here for the past 15 minutes. I saw you were getting rescued, so I decided to watch. 
The accident wasn't your fault. The points were frozen from the cold weather. Thank you, sir. Now I've heard he wants to go ice skating, but I think next jam, leave it to the professionals. Yes, sir. I think I will do that. The next day, Emily went back to work, but unfortunately the news spread around about the incident and the engines couldn't help but tease Emily. Hi, Emily. Mind who you go today? Oh, yes, indeed. Don't go ice skating now. Oh. <laughs> Be careful, Emily. It's extra slippery today. We don't want you sliding into any more lakes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Emily was not amused, but she knows now that engines and ice skating don't mix.